you can use the DivX Converter to convert virtually any QuickTime movie to DivX format. And to do so is very simple. First, launch the converter, then drag the movie or movies you want to convert to DivX onto the converter, and next, using these directional arrows, choose a profile. Now, a profile simply specifies the dimensions and bitrate and other information uh, that is suitable for the device on which you're going to view the DivX movie. And in the meantime, say hello to my little pet skeleton. Don't be alarmed, he's harmless. Um, you can choose from the handheld for a small handheld device, slightly larger portable device, or if you have a DivX certified DVD player in your home theater, you can choose that profile. And of course, there's high def. Now, those are click and go profiles. So you choose profile, click convert, conversion process starts right off the bat. However, if you want more control over the conversion process, you can choose custom. And when you do, click convert, you're presented with a full UI where you can control every aspect of the conversion. Again, you can choose a profile that's suitable for the device you want to view the movie. You can go into advanced settings where you can preview, including scrub to a certain section, control the size, and so on. You can crop, you can remove black bars, control the frame rate, pre-processing, and so on. In the codec you can control the quality, number of passes, change the bitrate, and so on. And as well you can fully configure the audio as well. When you're done, you simply say OK and off the encoding process goes. Now while that is encoding, I'll show you via the preferences what you can do when the encoding is done. By default, the converter will ask you what you want to do. And that's fine. But sometimes it'll better suit your workflow to include some automation. So you can say, you know what, dear converter, do the following. Once the movies are converted, I want you to play a sound to notify me. Uh, then open the movies in the DivX player, for example. And then finally just go ahead and quit because your services are done. You can go ahead and quit so I don't have to bother about quitting. And of course you can always have it do nothing if you want. And in the meantime we'll choose those. We'll go up and our encode is almost done. And it played the sound. It launched it in the player. And of course it quit the converter, exactly what you wanted.